April 3rd Incident Educational Policy Review by Adam Pierre. This educational policy affects the students and teachers in Jeju Island, South Korea. This educational policy was first introduced in 2016. The policy states that once a year, students will learn about peace and human rights through the historical events surrounding the April 3rd incident. The Office of Education has published educational booklets based on students' age and have created various activities and videos to aid teachers. Jeju Island is famous for its beauty and natural wonders, but its dark history is often overlooked. In 1947, the shooting of civilians by police during the March 1st Movement celebration triggered a period of turmoil on Jeju Island. The April 3rd Jeju incident, a series of events that took place from 1947 to 1954, resulting in the highest number of casualties in modern Korean history, excluding the Korean War. Some 25,000 to 30,000 people were killed. It was a horrific massacre, but the truth behind the incident wasn't revealed until over half a century later. Before 2001, it was actually illegal to discuss the April 3rd incident, and people who did received jail time or were tortured. Then in 2003, the first report of Truth Commission was published. This was followed by an official apology by President Ro Mu Hyun. Finally, in 2016, after much division and compromise, the Jeju Office of Education implemented the educational policy that integrated the April 3rd incident into the yearly curriculum in all public schools, elementary to high school. I had the privilege of interviewing one teacher at my school whose family has been in Jeju for generations. When I was young, I mean in school age, I don't much chance to learn about the April 3rd. It was from my father. I think it's a good idea to teach the, about the April 3rd to the student because you have to learn about living together peacefully. As you heard from my coworker, and have I've heard from other teachers as well, that the current policy about the April 3rd incident is important and can be a great way of discussing reconciliation and living in peaceful coexistence. Given the division of North and South Korea currently, and the ever-growing divisions around the world, it is an important message to impart on children that peaceful coexistence is possible when you strive to empathize and understand both sides of a situation. Here are some strengths and weaknesses for this educational policy. One of the most important strengths, I believe, is that this policy shows students the importance of having empathy for all sides of a situation. However, one weakness that stands out the most is that it establishes a time for teachers to cover a large event only once a year, usually only for a couple of days. However, the themes of human rights and empathy are quite expansive topics that take time to cover. The Jeju Office of Education leaves the specifics of implementation of the education of the April 3rd incident up to the schools and teachers. Some schools hold memorials or make camellia flower projects. The camellia flower is the official symbol of the April 3rd incident. The Office of Education provides schools and teachers with many resources such as books, videos, and monetary support. The Office of Education even created an English speech contest for high school students. This policy aims to educate the students of Jeju about a historic and horrific event and how society is learning to empathize with everyone involved and impacted by the April 3rd incident. I believe this policy helps schools and teachers to prepare students to become better citizens and more positive forces in tomorrow's society. References Thanks for watching.